All right, Drake Riggs here with Lance Gibson Jr. getting ready for Bellator 268. Lance, man, I noticed that you appear to be quite the fisherman. When did you get into this, catch some big fish? How often do you go fishing? <laughs> oh, man. I started fishing when I was like four or five. Okay. My grandpa, my grandpa Ron Gibson taught me, and uh, since then, we I mean, we go every Sunday. So, and any chance that we can get, uh, we, we get out there and we go slay some fish. All right, very cool. Biggest fish you've caught, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I've been there for other, well, I've, my family's caught the, the really big fish. I've caught a 25 pound Chinook salmon and a 30 pound lingcod or so, but my dad and my grandpa both caught a 50 pound Chinook salmon, so that's insane. It's just yeah, massive. That is quite large yeah. indeed. But as for the fighting, man, gotta talk about that, of course. So, yeah. you know, seven and zero in your career overall to this point, you know, four and zero as a pro, and then, you know, the amateur bouts. Mm -hmm. um, some people they feel like that pressure to keep undefeated of course you want to stay undefeated but like as it builds up and builds up like habib everyone talked about that for him mm -hmm. for so long but do you feel that at all like i don't want to lose my zero obviously but is it in the back of your mind at all when you're in, going into fights you know i don't even look at my record i don't even pay attention to it i pay attention to the job at hand the task at hand because that's what's important the record really doesn't matter it it sometimes doesn't even tell you the skill of the fighter so like my record you would think oh he doesn't have that much experience but i have a lot of experience in mixed martial arts i've been there for julie all of julia's fights i've been in corners when i was four years old i'm i've been around the sport for a long time so my my record doesn't show my experience but when i get in there you see my experience yeah, absolutely, man. And, you know, the big thing about this card specifically at the top of it anyways, we got the light heavyweight tournament. Mm -hmm. Curious, you know, would you ever want to be in one of those if the opportunity arose? You know, maybe after this fight and they make one for your division, would you be cool with that? Uh, first things first, after this fight, I want to be ranked in the top 10 100%. Cool. And then absolutely, once I'm in the top 10 and I'm making my way to the top, I'll definitely be in the, into a tournament and uh, looking at winning that title. All right, cool, man. And something I wanted to ask you about, too, you just kind of said it right there. You know, your life, you've just kind of been in fighting and mm -hmm. born into being a fighter, right? And Nick Diaz recently mentioned how he doesn't necessarily, like, enjoy fighting, but it's just, like, kind of who he is, right? I don't know if you saw that interview that he did with Brett Akamoto and all that, mm -hmm. but was that relatable to you, with you at all? Like, kind of the things he was saying about not liking fighting necessarily, but that's just what you do. <laughs> yeah. So I would consider it because it's, like, I was born into it. It's in my blood that it's a part of me so it's not necessarily that i i jump and joy like mm -hmm. super ex excited to to get out there and fight it's more so this is this is who i am i get to express myself in there and uh it's a part of me so that's what i love about the sport so it, it's it's kind of a fine line for him he's been in it a long time i i think but uh so have i <laughs> in, a, in a sense since i was a young kid but uh yeah i love that part about me that gets to express them get, gets to express myself in the cage definitely man so with that in mind what do you think you would do if you never got into fighting professional fisherman or something else <laughs> i would love to do something in the outdoors for okay. sure whether it's hunting fishing or like just farming i think i, I really find peace in all that and uh yeah gardening whatever you know i i love being outside and and yeah, you do the bee stuff too, right? Yeah, exactly. Beekeeping as well. So I love tending to the bees and making sure that, well, the, the eco our ecosystem in our area is all kind of intact. Absolutely, man. All right, I will leave you with that. Lance, best of luck this weekend. Can't wait for it. Thank you. Yes, thank you.